Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Just uh, remember if there is a, a homework or not. Yeah, for Friday. Uh -huh. okay. For Friday, the, the, will... uh -huh. the next Friday. The Friday is coming. This Friday, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this Friday we're going to bring the two words or three, and also we're going to present a business plan. The business plan. Yeah, a business plan. Okay, okay, okay. Good. It's okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. There is a, a problem in the platform in the section 211. With the last word, you, you are uppercasing uh, some words in the paragraph. But the last word in the paragraph is accountant. And uh, is in a, in a lowercase. And you need to put or to write in, in uppercase. And uh, I don't know, I, I, I put it with a, a period, with a, a with a lowercase in different ways. And uh, it's even a problem. And this is the, the, the fourth, the last one in the paragraph that is incorrect. Okay, let me check into that. Yes, David has, uh, David is right. Yes. I, yes. I... Okay, the last part says for the following passage, I found four mistakes of capital letters. Um, other words that need to be capitalized. Okay, I, I guess I know what is going on. I'm going to show you, okay? Yeah, it's okay. time for it. It's not a countdown, actually, because uh, what the acronym... Well, it's the word of depression. Yeah, the word it should be not... I mean, hold on. It's not a countdown. Mm -hmm. It is a count. A count. Because the ah, acronym okay. for this one is Certified Public Account, not Accountant. Mm -hmm. Certified public account. Account, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, because it's an, an organization. Yes, exactly. It's not a person, right? It's the organization yes, it's that does. Person. So, but yeah, it, there is a problem because it shouldn't be that way. It's just capitalized yeah. things, right? Right. But yeah, the mistake is on the paragraph that it says accountant and not account. Yes. So, but the word that you need to enter here is account. Account. Yes. Okay. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you again. How was the vacation? Did you go to the beach, to the mountain? Did you rest? Did you sleep a lot? Was it good? A little. <laughs> yeah. You Very do good. things in vacation, but uh, uh, rest is not of them. <laughs> yeah, you just change activities, right? So that happens. So, But I'm, I'm very happy that you're back and that everything went well. I didn't have a vacation, but anyways, I'm here, right? <laughs> but actually, uh, it was very good because I was able to go to the Scorpions concert, so it was amazing, and I'm very happy about that one. Um, and this is the class of tonight, not this one, but this is the exercise. Uh, the class of tonight is explain this one, okay? So we're going to review a few things about the business plan for you to remember and be ready for that. Uh, homework that is going to be this Friday, this incoming Friday. Very well. So we're going to check then about the attendance. Let me just go there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just move this. Okay, here. Oh, my camera is not working. Sorry, oh, that's not good. Okay, so Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Uh, present teacher here. Of course. Uh, David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good. Fernando Ernesto Flores 
I'm sorry. Por Fernando favor. Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. I'm here. Good. Good. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Good evening. Good evening. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Very good. So, uh, yes, actually, um, I would like to hear from you. What did you do on the vacation? I mean, on the week that we didn't see each other. So we're going to practice on that one. What did you do on the vacation? Nothing at all. Just sleeping. Watch TV. Any good movie? Have you seen Mario Bros already? Uh, I I went to the the cinema. Okay. Be sure. Um, I I saw John Wick. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Is that good? Yes, it was good. It was a good movie. Very action. Uh, uh, the actor uh, only is on speed 300 words. Oh <laughs> but all the movie was action, ball, guns, and um, action, action. <laughs> My almost, almost three, three hours. Almost three hours, but you almost, yeah. you were happy. But it was good. Yeah. Was... Nice. Pretty and good. do you believe it's better than the other ones? Yes, yes. Oh, I have to see that one. I haven't seen that. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. When I finished the, the, the movie in post credit. Uh, you can see all her essence. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. How many scenes because are there? There will be... Mm, John with five. Oh, my goodness. Really? Yes. That's crazy. Yeah. And Rose, I, I, want to, I want to see what I, I can... I can. Yeah, I mean, that is a, a brand new one, so we can watch that later on, right? But I want to see that one as well. They say that it's a very good movie, uh, and it's a hit. I mean, they have collected a lot of money in the first week. And also, John Wick, yeah, I remember that a friend of mine, she was going to go and watch it, so, but I, I couldn't. I couldn't go with her. Uh, but yeah, maybe this week I'm, I'm going to watch John Wick. Yes, it was, it was cool. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Who else wants to share? What Thank did you do on the vacation? Nothing at all. Okay. Very good. So let us start with the class then. Let me just go here. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do this. Okay. So um, we are going to remember about the business plan. Some of, the, I mean, all these things we saw that already. We're going to see it in a different way. We're going to practice reading and get ready for Friday. Friday we need to present a business plan. Remember that you don't have to build a business plan. I mean, that is a lot of work. 
you can just download one and present one. Or if you are going to build something that is, of course, not real and it's not going to take a lot of time, you can you can do it. Um, but it's going to be some like this one, okay? Let's check then about um, the elements of the business plan. David, could you please help me reading? Of course. Write an executive summary. This is the first page of your business plan. Think of it as your elevator pitch. It should include, it should include a mission statement, a brief description of the product or service offered, and a broad summary of your financial growth balance. Through the executive summary is the first thing your investor will read. It can be easier to write less. That way you can highlight information you identify while writing other sections that go into more detail. Good, what did you get from this one? Okay, there is a, the, the most important thing maybe in the plan, but uh, uh, it will be the last part you need to write because you need to have the full or the whole idea of what you are, you are trying to do. If, if we have an idea, uh, but uh, we don't write it, that there was many general things that uh, are like a, a, a cloud, no, not a, a, is a not something concrete. And for that reason, you need to write your ideas, to write the business plan, write all the details. And at the end, you can summarize all of that things in the executive summary. This is important. And uh, uh, this part of elevator pitch is uh, something that you need to say it in the in the in the meantime, or in, 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 while you are uh, uh, going up or going down in an elevator, and then you you have uh, three five minutes to talk to somebody and and uh, persuade them or, or convince them about what they are you trying to do. And uh, I think one of the most difficult things is to summarize. Is uh, one of the most difficult things because in school the the majority of us uh, write one paragraph, another paragraph, and uh, put them together. And that, that was our summary in school. But uh, that is not the idea. The summary needs to give a, a, a clear, full idea of everything you are doing. Very well, perfect. You are so right. I mean, yeah, I guess in all Latin America that happens that we don't know exactly what a summary is or uh, how to write an introduction, a conclusion that is very important from any project. And yes, I mean, these parts, of course, as the paragraph says, it has to be done at the very end. I mean, you need to build everything first and then you can build the summer, uh, summary so you can uh, pitch that one. I mean, it's going to be like an introduction, uh, like a movie, right? Like a TV show is like a preview that you have to uh, you want to come and watch what's going to be next so you are going to be engaged so that is the the first part and that's why you say that it's a very important part because if you are not engaged at the summer i mean probably the rest of the presentation is not going to be that good uh, it's like a first impression right when you come to a meeting the first impression is something very important right so very good perfect thank you very much Okay, describe your company. So that will be the next one. Uh, Luis Albert, Steve. Not possible for Steve. Uh, William, Alexander. Describe your company. Next up is your company description, which should contain information like your business register name, address of your business location, names of key people in the business. Make sure to highlight unique skills or technical expertise among members of your team. 
your company description should also define your business structure, such as a sole proper proprietorship, partnership, or corporation, and include the present ownership that each owner has on the extent of each owner's involvement in the company. Lastly, it should cover the history of your company and the nature of your business now. This prepares the reader to learn about your goals in the next section. Perfect. What did you get from this one? Okay, describe your company. Um, Okay. I talk about obviously your name, the the people who who involve or who represents in your company. Uh, the company should uh, talking about the the structure, the diagrams, for example, the the levels or. I don't know how to say, for example, the socios teacher. The, I'm sorry, the what? Socios. Ah, uh, the stakeholders. Okay. Uh huh. And yeah, and what the, what is the the nature of your company? And like, um, what is um, the company about, or like the product that you serve, or or service you you are offering? Okay, very good, perfect, so definitely. So describe your company is a very important part. I mean, you need to tell uh, how did that start? What have you done? I mean, what are you located, the branches? Many things, right? Many things you can bring to this one. So yeah, it's a very, a very good, important part. And of course, uh, it's going to give the people, the audience, an idea of the identity of the company. So it's... It's a, a, a very important part. Good. Uh, state your business goals. So, Dora, Elizabeth. State your business goals. The third part of business plan is an objective statement. This section spells out exactly what you would like to accomplish, both in the near term and over the long term. If you're looking for a business loan or outside investment, you can use this section to explain why you have a clear need for the funds, how the financing will help your business grow, and how you plan to achieve your growth targets. The key the key is to provide a clear explanation of the opportunity presented and how the loan or investment will grow your company. For example, if your business is launching second product online, you may explain how to loan will help your company launch the new products and how much your thing sales will increase over the next three years as a result. Perfect. What did you understand on this one, Dora? In this section, section is for uh, explained uh, investment, uh, how to uh, get a, a goals for the company. And what, what is the 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 advantage or the 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 company for the investment is a is the uh convince a uh, uh, investment uh put the the money in the company in uh, is uh, with a uh, security is no loss your uh, their day their money Okay, definitely. So, yeah, you say, and you mentioned something that is very important, right? Uh, that, well, if you have a company, definitely the company has to have some goals, some objectives. And, uh, well, you need to present those goals. I mean, we are here. 
and we want to be there in one, two, three years from now. And then uh, what what are we gonna do for, for us to do one? Sometimes remember that this business plan is to present uh, to a company uh, that is going to provide a loan, it's going to provide some funds. So definitely this is one of the most important things. Why, why do you need this money? I mean, uh, how do you expect to grow, right? So it's a very important thing and uh, uh, it's um, something that we need to present in a very accurate very good. Describe your products and services. That is going to be for Fernando Ernesto Cosme. Okay. Uh, in this section, go into detail about the products or services you offer or plan to offer. You should include the following. An explanation of how your product or service works the pricing model for your product or service, the typical customer you, you serve, your supply chain and order fulfillment strategy, your sales strategy, your distribution strategy. You can also discuss current or pending trademarks and patents associated with, the, with your product or service. Good, what do you get here? Uh, well, when you have a, a business business plan, uh, maybe this is a, a the most almost the most important thing because that, that is how your your business will be alive in the market. Uh, what is your product? What 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 you what is what are you offering? Uh, how you will be getting uh, maybe profit or your, your your contingency planning, all the all the uh, hope hope you will get your merchandise or whatever you want your material raw to to make your your product. And what is the strategy? The distribution and sales. That is maybe it's a big a big deal because uh, you have to. It, it's is your maybe it's your core. Uh, how you will sell and how you how you will uh, get the maybe the your that all the, the things that you you need. That's that's it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So definitely, uh, this is something very important. You say I believe that. Everybody is going to read and everybody's going to say, oh, this is one of the most important things. Uh, and yeah, the problem is that with the business plan, everything is important, right? The, uh, I mean, everything that you're going to present is a very, very important part. So yes, the products or services. I mean, if everything is fine, if you have very good goals, if the company has a very nice history, of course, it's not going to matter if the products or services are not good, right? Definitely, this is also very important. What is going to be part of this part? The explanation of how your products or services work? Definitely. The prices for everything that you sell, uh, the market, right, that you have, so like the typical customer you have, the supply chain, so all the expenses that you have and the logistics for that. The sales strategy, what, what do you do for you to accomplish your goals on selling? And, of course, your distribution strategy. And uh, the last part is also very important. I mean, trademark, copyright, or everything that is on the process, you need to present that one. So it's going to be a very important part. So uh, the audience will be able to understand what's going on here. Good. Do your market research. Oh, this is also very important. Jose Osmin Rivas. Yes, teacher. Please help me read this. Okay. Uh, lenders and invest investors will want to know what sets your product apart from your competition in your market analyst section. Ex explain who your comp competitor competitors are, discuss what they do well, 
and point out what what you can do better if you are serving different or undeserved market explain that okay what did you understand on that one okay let's, let's see <clears throat> okay, so like uh, checking so the the points so we're doing better or well, what we can like improve and also that compare the the marketing right so and also expanding the the business so but something that is really important here is that the analysis right so in order that we can know the competition the 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 lenders and also the competition right definitely so yes uh this is something very important before you present a business plan or as part of the business plan that you are going to have for your own company yeah we need to do some market research check about who are your competitors what uh, is the percentage of the market that they are obtaining uh, things like that one. So because in, uh, that is going to be also part of your marketing campaign on your sales strategy. Many things are going to be important here. So definitely that is something that we need to consider. Good, perfect. In Number this six, uh -huh. park, uh, sorry, tissue. go ahead. In this park, when you compare your, your investor or competition and it's called a uh, benchmarking you can compare and do a list when you take the the most uh, in the, the the best and the and the and the bad about you about your competition and you do a list about it and try to do the same, but uh, but the, the but better. Definitely, yeah, and you are right. That's uh, the name. Whenever you are comparing and you're sharing information, you can get into that one. Benchmarking is a very important part of any company, so you understand uh, not only the competitors, but who you are and who you are going to compete. What actions you are going to move forward into that one. Yes, yes, it is. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, number six, outline your marketing and sales plan. Juan Miguel Brown. Okay. <clears throat> outline your marketing and sales plan. Here, you can address how to, how your, how you plan to persuade you. Sorry, sorry. Here, you can address how you plan to persuade persuade customers mm -hmm. persuade customers to buy your products or services or how you will develop customer loyalty that will lead to repeat business okay very well so what did you get into that one mm. okay this this point or this, uh, yeah, this point is talking about uh, how can you do in order to um, to attract maybe uh, clients and uh, <clears throat> at the end be became the customers, yeah, uh, in order to, to buy your products or, or services, yeah. And uh, obviously you have to 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 how to say this. You must have you must have your business plan, but obviously this uh, this point for for me is one of the most important. I I think all the all the things in your market plans are uh, important but here is one of the 
sorry, of the important ones because you can make or you can have everything, yeah, but if you don't know how, how to attract your clients and how to become this client in customers, uh, you don't have anything, yeah. Obviously you have, <clears throat> you have, uh, or you must to, to do your market research before, but uh, uh, maybe your financial planning or something like this, but if you don't have customers, you don't have anything, yeah? Uh, the, the, the main objective is to, to, to sales, yeah? So how to sell, how to persuade, persuade or persuade, no, pursue, pursue, pursue customers, yeah. And after the, 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 the people are customers, how will maintain maybe these customers, uh, not only for ones, yeah, but also for a, uh, recurring ones, yeah? Uh, maybe offering discounts, maybe uh, uh, making promotions or something like this, yeah? Uh, in order to your clients back, uh, come back to your, to your business, yeah? Perfect. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, whenever you do the market research, I mean, these are linked. Um, then you have to create a marketing and sales plan. So you understand your customer, you uh, tell them we are better because of this one, right? So, uh, yes, there are other products that are similar, but we are the best because of these and uh, other reasons. So that happens. Yeah. Uh, there is a, a very interesting story about this one I remember right now that I used to tell my students when I was teaching at the university that there were two uh, two stores, you know, on the streets, like those people from the market. Uh, they are two places where you can buy oranges. In one place, uh, one guy was selling, let's say, 12 oranges for $1. On the other one, five oranges for $1. And they were next to each other. And then, um, I mean, some people, they say, oh, I want to buy the one that are $12 for $1 because, I mean, there are many already. This is something very important for me, right? So I will get more for the price. I mean, it's going to be cheaper, right? Uh, other people, they say, mm, I will get the one that are five, uh, $5, I mean, five oranges per one dollar because probably the quality is very good i mean this is not for everybody right but at the end of the day they got together and they went together i mean it was the same store it was the same oranges that they were selling for a different pricing and they were using that as, as a strategy of selling right i mean uh, it doesn't matter <laughs> what they yeah i got the point i got uh -huh. I mean, in my, that is very simple. I mean, it's very, very simple. In mind that you, you say you are the competition and I don't like that product, but at the end, you are the same. I mean, that is <laughs> yeah. very good strategy. And, and it's something very simple, actually. So sometimes that happens. Sometimes. If, if, uh -huh. if, sorry, teacher. If you, if you think about that story, it could be a simple strategy. Yeah, but, but at the end, it, it's not so simple because, yeah, it's simple for, for, uh, because uh, the two of them are uh, from the same place. Yeah, but at the end, uh, <clears throat> but in one point, they had to, to, to analyze this, uh, this situation. Yeah, uh, in order to, to, to conclude this, yeah. Okay, I don't want another competitor competitor uh, instead of of myself. Yeah, but with uh, with another price. Yeah, in order to sell my my products uh, in a kind of offer. Yeah, 
uh, and on the other hand, uh, making or, or uh, make the client things that uh, uh, for for the same price, I can I can get uh, the best quality. Yeah, talking about five per dollar. Yeah, but. But it, it, it's so simple, yeah. But you have to analyze more, more beyond beyond that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah. Whenever I I don't remember where I read that one, but I present that to my students because I mean, sometimes you don't have to think about something very expensive, something a good idea, a very good idea, a very good uh, strategy. Sometimes it's going to cause a very good impact, and it's going to attract a lot of. A lot I rem of mm -hmm. I I remember another study. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it it's related with uh, dental tooth toothpaste. Yeah, Col Colgate. If I don't, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's a good uh, a good product. Yeah, but they. Uh, the 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 story is that they have no rising sales, yeah. So they were talking about how to how to do in order to increase the sales, to make uh, more products and sales or something like this, yeah. And there is a there, there was a a janitor, yeah, and the two people. Uh, executive people they were talking about and, and asked for the janitor uh, how can we do in order to increase the sales and the janitor just tell them just make that hole yeah the, the hole uh, from the toothpaste is go out more <clears throat> um now, uh, let that hole bigger, yeah, in order to uh, um, um, how to say this, sacar más pasta, yeah. Okay, so it runs faster. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it runs faster, yeah, and people have to uh, to buy more, more products, yeah, more products, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. I mean, this is very important. I guess I'm going to look for a a video. I'm going to send it to you. It's in Spanish because it's a documentary in Spain. In Spain, uh, and uh, I I guess I told you that before uh, in another module that in in the university there in the U.S. or any other countries there is a a subject uh, in a engineering that is about uh, how to program the obsolescence in products. I mean, they design products to last five years or something like that one. And that is something very, very old. I mean, they say that, for example, uh, the uh, the razors for, for you to shave your hair, I mean, to your face, uh, there was once that Gillette, they created something that lasted forever. But they say that that is not good. I mean, we need to sell more products, right? So at the end, they decided to do something that is going to last a few times and then you need to buy more. So that happens. Yes. We actually, <laughs> we are living in a world like that, one, that things are not going to last that, that much, right? And the things are uh, more expensive. That is true. I mean, yeah, I mean. Yeah. More expensive because you pay, for example, uh, the same amount, but uh, for um, yeah, for a shorter time to to get functionally this this product, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, maybe the price for a razor is very cheap, the front door, but you pay a lot. I mean, you buy a lot in your life. Um, I, I don't want to make the math. I mean, I don't know how much I, I have spent in, in races, but I mean, if I pay 
four times the price for one razor that is going to last, let's say, five years. I mean, that is going to be much better for me, right? But companies, I mean, they have different kind of strategies. And that is one of the most common strategies that we have right now. That they create products to last an amount of time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to say this in English, but in Spanish, the term used is ganancias por volumen. Yeah, vol volume, volume revenue. Uh huh. Something like that. Uh huh. Something like this. Yeah. And uh, there, there is a, another term used uh, that is related to pobreza, poverty. Poverty. Yeah? Po poverty. Okay. And it's the the more poor or the yeah more poor you are uh, you pay more for that for the product yeah, yeah. because uh, um how how to explain this yeah you can buy uh, a sugar bar yeah from from the supermarket uh, that has 2.5 kilos yeah but uh, and has for example two two dollars yeah but if you go to the to the market in in your neighbor uh, for one pound you pay for example uh, 75 cents yeah and if you uh zoom yeah all, all the 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 pounds at, at the end five pounds you pay more if you could uh, afford the same product the same weight but in one in one uh, shop in, in una compra i don't know how to say this now in one payment you can say oh yeah in one payment yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah actually that is very true i mean uh whenever uh I mean, yeah, you pay more if you are just going and buy more and more things. So definitely that is something that is going to cause an impact. Yeah. Sadly, sometimes the system is just like that and we cannot avoid. I mean, I wish I could buy a razor that lasts five years, but I, I was not. I, actually, I was looking for something like that, but I didn't buy. I didn't find anything like that. So sometimes we are among the system and we are not able to just to change that one. Very good, perfect. So let's move to the next one. Uh, perform, it says, uh, business financial analysis. Um, Wendy. Not possible. Roxana. Okay. Perform a business financial analysis. Okay. If you are a startup, you might have much information on your business financials yet. However, if you are an existing business, you don't want to include income or profits and loss statement. A balance sheet that lists your assets and debits. And a cash flow statement that show how cash comes into and goes out of the company. You may also include metrics such as net profit margin, the first the percent percentage. That's right. Percentage. Yeah, percentage. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The percentage of revenue you keep has the income, current ratio, uh, the measurement of your li liquidity score yeah liquidity yeah liquidity and ability to replay debts accounts receivable for other retail uh measurement a measurement of how frequently you collect or all receivables per year this is a great place to include charts and graphs that make it easy for those reading your plan or understand the financial health of your business. 
Okay, what do you get from this? Uh, well, uh, the main idea of this point uh, is that uh, it independent. If you are working in a new business plan or you maybe uh, you uh, continue another business plan that you was working in the past, you need to uh, include uh, that type of um, measurements, correct, or measure? A measurement. Okay, that type of measurement because uh, you need to uh, have um, an idea, a, a ratio or um, in financial, when you are uh, working in, in maybe in um, decision, you need to uh, have the idea uh, about how, how it's, how is working or how is it start the, the business in that moment? So if you are uh, collect a lot of information about the, the market, about the brand, about uh, how are you financial in, in general. So your, your um, what is for cobrar is receivable? Yeah? Yeah. No, so uh, in general, uh, how is uh, your receivable, how is your, your cash, how is the position of the business? Talking about financial uh, position. So that's why it's important for a company when uh, they asking for a, a bank uh, transfer bank information or looking for invest or just for for a uh, get a better position it's important to try to uh, implement that uh, type of metrics to have the idea about how is the the business in that moment and if you uh, know that position, you can have maybe a better decision. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Definitely, this is one of the most important things. I mean, yes, the product is important. Yes, the history of the company is important. But at the end, this is a business and everything is about money, right? Money is important. And this is like the heart. It doesn't matter if the product... It's amazing if the market is really huge. Yeah, I mean, this is a very, very important part. So uh, let's check some of the terms here, everybody. Uh, it says include income or profit and loss statement. What is profit and loss statement? What is that? This is something that Doris knows very well <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because she's an accountant. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I was thinking about that. How can you do uh, 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 this uh, uh, state uh, in for loss, profit and loss income? Uh, if you are starting the, the business, maybe something. Uh, a project something in order to, to know in the future, something like that. Yeah, yeah, you are so very right. I mean, yeah, if you are already in the business, it's very easy I mean, for you to create a profit and loss statement because uh, the accountant know how to do it. Right? But if you are a starting a company, a startup, definitely uh, it's going to be just projected. So this is what I want to be in six months, in one year, in three years. Uh, and based on i mean if i get the financial um, resources that i'm looking to i will be able to so yeah whenever they are start up is going to be just a projected part but uh, in this case is um estaba perdiendo ganancias right yeah oh, okay yeah that is the profit and loss statement so it's going to show uh, that is one of the most important if you are Losing money or uh, profiting. Remember that a startup company probably at the very beginning is going to show negative numbers, right? Red numbers. Uh, but 
uh, well, you have to project when you are going to be starting getting some profit, definitely. What is a balance sheet? But the balance sheet is uh, uh, you are your uh, passive, your capital, and uh, your uh, 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't know in English, in Spanish, I, I know very well. Well, actually, uh, in English, it's that word that is there, the assets. Ah, the assets, yes, yes. And uh, it is the, mostly it is uh, the control of e incomes of, or uh, you receive and you pay something like that in what you have. And that is important for, for, for all of the business. Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. The balance sheet is going to describe where is your asset and you are debit, but it's with when you have to money in how in the banks, in the ca cash flow, how to uh, um, asset like a uh, mobile, uh, I don't know what to say, uh, propriedades. Properties. Properties and how to pay it up a uh, supply. What is your capital? And five in long time and short time. Perfect. Very good. So you say exactly what is this about. So yeah, your assets and debts, right? What you have and what you owe to others. And uh, that is a very important part. And yeah, you also mentioned about the cash flow statements. I mean, that is something like the way that the cash comes and goes, right? So it's depending on the company and the product, sometimes it's going to be very fast, sometimes it's going to be a little bit slow. That doesn't mean that you are not going to have some cash there. So it's something that you need to predict. Okay, uh, another one is the net profit margin, what is that? You see, the profit after you pay maybe the taxes and all of the fixed costs and what is the the real, real profit of the business? That is it. So that is the real one, right? So that is that's why it says net that is a very important word there and the other one is the current ratio that is about the liquidity in it so how much money i actually have i, I can have three million dollars in, in buildings and in uh, raw materials but if i don't have a, a, a percentage of money uh, that i can use right now sometimes it's not gonna work properly right and the last one, accounts receivable to another ratio. Remember that the ratios are percentages. I mean, you just need to convert that one and it's going to percent. So this part of the um, business plan is going to show not only the graphics, but also some ratios. Of, of course, depending on the company, right? So that depends on many things. Um, that would be, let's just run. Make financial projections. So this is the other part that is going to be linked to this one. Uh, Steve. Make, make financial projections. This is a critical part of your business plan. If you're seeking financing, financing or investor, it aligns how your business will generate enough profit to repay long or how you will earn a decent return for investor. Here, you'll provide your business monthly or quarterly sell expenses and profit estimates over at least a three-year three -year period with the future numbers assuming you, you alternate a new law. Apathy is key. So carefully analyze your past financial statement before giving projections. 
Your goals may be aggressive, but they should also be realistic. Good. What the did last, you guys do? Hmm? And the last part is, 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 is interesting. And it's, it's very important, maybe financial projection. You, you, your projection is how, how many or how much you will return or you will give um, talking about money. Not all, not all, not always is money. Maybe uh, clients, uh, maybe uh, investor, investors, and it is important in a projection. In the last part, uh, the key in this that says so carefully analyze your past past financial statements before giving projection it's very important analyze the, or past financial and you uh taking taking that you will be going to uh, financial projection for the future and that says your goals may be aggressive but they should also be realistic if you want to for example in, in a period of the time on one year uh, your projection is uh, earned uh, two thousand dollars but is if you if you uh, saw your bus uh, your past projects you know, your past, your past financial statements, and you almost five hundred five a five hundred dollars you received a before, and is not realistic if you want to say two hundred five thousand dollars for example. Okay. Uh, maybe if you give um an um. A different, or maybe when you you know is um some products you can increase your your sales in um some period of time. For example, in some months like December, or it depends it depends about the, the product or services that you offer. Okay. So yeah, definitely, of course, it's going to depend on many things, but this is one of the most important parts, mostly if you are going to request for money. I mean, because you are going to present who you are and what you have, what is your uh, picture of right now. But yes, this is right now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but you are going to sh also show what you want to be. Uh, the last part, as you say, is very interesting. Accuracy. You need to be accurate. You cannot be that low because then everybody's going to say, well, this is not a good business, right? It's not, it's not going to have a lot of profit. But you cannot be that aggressive or, uh, because if you don't accomplish that in real in real life, I mean, you are going to fail into your goals. So this part, that's why it's a very important part because you are going to be able to, to project a realistic goal so you can achieve that one but something that is going to be good for you profitable yeah. so that's why this is a, a very important part of this very good perfect thank you thank let's you. continue number nine add additional information to an appendix uh let's see who has some red Anna Claudia okay Add additional information to an appendix. Please, any supporting information or additional materials that you couldn't find it elsewhere, such as resumes of key employees, uh, license, equipment, leases, permits, patent, receipts, bank statements, contracts, and personal and business credit history. If the appendix is long, you may want to you may want to consider adding a, ta a table of content at the beginning of this section. Mm. Okay, what do you get on this? Uh, I guess this part 
is where you add all those source. For example, if you have a, like a graphic that you took for your a, as a consideration to make your a, business plan, you can add it as a, as a source, right? And but if sometimes it's too long, too many information because it says you can also uh, add resumes or key employees. I mean, it's a lot of information. Could be not uh, only pictures. Could be also, I guess, uh, part of a reading or part of a book. Uh, you are like uh, backing up what you are presenting. That is what I understand. And sometimes this part is too heavy or too long that you need to make like tables, like index, I guess is the name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is what I understand. Very good. That it's, is it. But you support, yeah. right? Definitely. So yeah, sometimes you present like the core information on the rest of the sections, but then some people, they want to know a little bit more about certain things. So uh, there you can put everything. So anybody that has that uh, information, I mean, access to the business plan will be able to go and check. Check about any, I don't know, pictures, any plans, any, um, many, any things, I mean, that you may want to show is going to be there. And sometimes, I mean, yeah, in my, in my in whole, uh, it must be the the business plan of, of Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is a monster, right? So, of course, uh, they are going to set a lot of things here in the appendix. And, uh, yeah, you need to have, like, a table of contents so you know where to go. And I guess this information is linked. So, the appendix is, for example, when you find those little numbers above a letter or a paragraph, or maybe they have, like, yeah, numbers, but in the full page, Foods, yeah, food fish is the name, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it the says footage. okay. The footage is the footage the same? Footer, footer. Ah, the footer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because footage is like a piece of media, right? No, footage. but it's going to be the footer. 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 Okay, the footer, and uh, uh, and it says and refer you to go to this or this tab or this or this page at the end. Okay. Yeah. Huh? Is that the, the 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 reference for the appendix? Uh, yeah, some like that one. Yeah, the footer is something that is going to be. Uh, yeah, when you put, uh, check this number one, number two, number uh -huh. three, and you can go there, right? So you can look for that. So mm -hmm. or see appendix. Sometimes it says see appendix number one, see appendix number six, something like that one. So depending, there are many ways for you to present that. Okay. Very good, but yeah, I mean. Everything is important. And sometimes uh, you use a word that is very good, a backup. I mean, yeah, we created this based on this and the patent is over here. So we are the owner or permits or uh, I don't know, many things that can. Or an idea or someone said or a phrase. So we're basing this in this uh, theory, stuff like that, right? Definitely. So that is going to be a very important part because yeah, other people there are always some somebody that is asking themselves how how is is this part done? I mean, and you can set that. How you had this conclusion? Ah, because this, this, and that. Exactly. So that is something very important. And if you put it in the in the body of the business plan, then it's going to be too long every section. So we don't mm. want that. One. Ah, okay. Perfect. Very good. Okay. And this is another thing that is kind of interesting. Uh, Eliana Giselle. Yes, it sure. Uh, avoid over optimism. If you're applying for a business loan at a local bank, the loan officer likely knows your market pretty well. Providing unreasonable sales estimates can hurt their chance of loan approval. Okay, what did you understand on that one? Mm. 
that if you if you don't provide like real information or, or realistic information, the chances to to be approved in 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 this kind of of things or of the loan, you you like um you reduce your chances to to have the loan because like the Arab said when the bank is local they know because it's their thing their area and if they know the market they know how the numbers can could be or should be and if you provide information that for them is not realistic yeah you reduce your chances to 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 succeed definitely so this is linked to the part of the we were discussing with Steve. I mean, uh, you need to be uh, realistic, and that is a very, very uh, important word. I mean, yeah, you can be aggressive, but also you need to to be aware it is going to be reachable the goals that you are going to set. Because um, if you say uh, sometimes that happens. I mean, we say, oh no, our product is very good. We are going to do our things and. And then in the process, you you face things that you didn't consider. Many things might happen. So, and that after, actually, uh, you need to leave a percentage on that one because there is always something that we might forget or we did not consider. And whenever we are launching a product or a strategy, we're going to face some different kinds of um obstacles right so that is a very important part let's see who's next uh marcus please uh where it says proofread okay um proof freedom spelling punctuation and grammatical errors can drop off the page and turn off lender and prospective investors Taking their mind off your business and put it, put it putting into the mistakes you made. If writing and editing aren't your strong suit, you may want to hire a professional business plan writer, copy, editor, or pro reader. Use fair resources. Uh, I continue. Uh, no, that is fine. Thank you. So, okay. proofread, what did you get from that part? Proofread. I, I didn't know the, the, this term, but um, I understand that if we want to write the, the business plan in, in a, a professional way, and if we don't have the a, the basis to to write and professional asset assets is better it's a good option to hire someone professional writer in order to to make uh, our document more professional because it's important the punctuation the you know, solve the grammatical errors and and also give like a um, uh, logical uh, sequence to the to or, or the, to the paragraph to the old document. So it's important to uh, structure in a good way our document. So it's uh, uh, it's important part. Maybe um, we think that it's not that important because at the end. We may think that the, the content is that uh, matters, but the the way of that content is present also is important. Okay, very good, perfect. So that is so true. I mean, uh, some people might believe that this is not important, but actually, it's very important. I mean, if you if you receive an email or if you are reading a projection and inform a report or whatsoever you are reading. And it has errors, grammar errors, or things like that one. Uh, you don't trust in that person that much, right? You say, mm, 
this is not good. I mean, maybe the information is, is great and everything that they are saying is kind of interesting, but if there are some grammar errors, then you don't trust uh, in that source. On the other hand, uh, in English, it's very important the structure, the structure that you present things. That's why we are checking some many things. I mean, capital letters, uh, the way that you have to present paragraphs in an essay, that is a very important part because it's, it's different from Spanish. I mean, in Spanish, I believe that you are start with an introduction, then present uh, the body and then a conclusion and that's it, but not in English. In English, you have uh, the first, for example, the first one or two sentences are going to be like the introduction topic, right? So it's going to be like very important. The first paragraph is the introduction to the whole thing and then two or three for you to present the, the topic, a conclusion, or what might be a solution for that one. So uh, the structure is a very important part for people in English. And more when we are presenting something about businesses. So it's a very, very important thing. And we need to check into that one. Good. The last part, uh, Fernando Marvin. Not possible. Let's see then. Teacher, it's possible. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead, please. Sorry. <laughs> uh, use for resources. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Use for resources. A score is a non-profit association that offers a large network of volunteer business mentors and experts who can help you write or edit your business plan. You can search for a mentor or find a local score chapter for more guidance. Uh, the U.S. Small Business Administration's Small Business Development Centers, which provide free business consulting and help with business plan development, can also be a resource. Okay, what do you get on that? Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of it's kind of complicated made a, a a a correct business plan uh, you can you can change the com a lot of aspects and it's recommended that uh, you search um, resources because it's a lot of resources in the internet or maybe I didn't see a local a local resources like the the paragraph say but in internet is a lot of resources and videos um uh, text books uh websites you know so it's kind of invest uh, a little of time to do a, a good business plan yeah, definitely. So, uh, well, in English, yeah, in the U.S., there are a lot of resources for, uh, because they want really to impulse you. I mean, they want to uh, help you creating your business so everything goes well in the economy. In Spanish also, there are a few. Um, I remember that in a class we were checking about that one, right? So you can go to some institutions and they will be able to help you uh, with trainings and things like that one. So you know what to do uh, nowadays it's very popular to um to train women women uh, i mean it's like the boom right now but anyways for everybody there are some resources and you mentioned something that is also very interesting i mean there are um lots of resources online i believe we uh, here in latin america we do that a lot uh, we want when we want to learn uh, most likely what we do is we go online and we research, right? We learn for ourselves. Even with technical things, sometimes we have problems with the cell phone or many things. The first thing that we do is that, to go and look for a possible answer. Uh, and then, uh, I mean, if that doesn't work, then we look for an expert, right? Um, that doesn't happen the same in English. In English, I mean, People in the U.S., something is not working. They are looking for a phone number to speak with somebody. Uh, but, yeah, we are very uh, self-sufficient into that one. So that is a very interesting point. Good. 
All right. So, do you have any questions? Uh, remember that on Friday, on Friday, we will be bringing two or three words, any words that you want to present, and also a business plan. Okay. Uh, is uh, not necessary, of course, that you create your own business plan. That is too much work. You can look for something that you are able to explain. Imagine, imagine that you are part of the company and that you are going to present the numbers to an audience, to some investors. I mean, the only thing that you need to do is to look for something that is not that short and not that long, uh, that has some parts that are very important. Not all the parts, but the most of the parts that are important in a business plan. Maybe a little bit of understanding of what you are talking about. I mean, the product, the services, the history of the company. You can read that part. That is not a problem. Uh, maybe uh, check the figures, the numbers, the graphics. That is also important. So it's going to be just a practice. The most important here is the English part. Uh, some, some might find some business plans that are uh, with depending on the industry and the and the kind of company with technical words so that is a good chance for you to to present vocabulary to the audience so that is also a very good thing so at the end it's going to be just a practice for you to do that one is it doesn't mean to be that long and that extensive of course we can ask questions and things in that one but uh, here the most important is the english part okay that you present that you are able to, like an actor, you know, like an actress, that you are going to be like presenting in a show, a company, something like that. That would be the idea. Okay, I don't know if you already have the business plan. If you have questions about something, you can download that one and throughout the week, you can ask me, hey, it's, it's okay, this one, or do I need to present this or this other thing? You might find also some of those that are very long and that you like it, so one thing that you can do is to delete some parts and just present the ones that you believe are the most important. But, I mean, five minutes is good enough for you to present. Do you have any question about that? I think we have many questions because when uh, we see the project, maybe it could seem to us easy. But when you start writing, when you start clarifying the idea or, or, or taking the, the idea from another source and try to, to, to write and, and do something, uh, uh, there is the moment that you find the, the questions, <laughs> you know, all, all of the WH, <laughs> why, <laughs> where, <laughs> How and uh, that is the thing. Maybe we know what what uh, we can do, what uh, are the, the the product or what are the service. But then is uh, how to sell, how to to do a marketing plan, or what is the best strategy for marketing, something like that. There are some questions that uh, it, uh, it will be appearing in in the process, in the process, and and uh, I think it's a, a very a very good practice. It's a very good practice, uh, even though if uh, we are not planning to to be an entrepreneur, but uh, in everything we we do, the the one thing. I don't know if we, I I heard that in in this module or or before, but one thing that we need to have clear is that we need to sell us. We are a, we need to make something like a personal branding, something like that. We are, I am asking for a job, or I, I am asking for a promotion, something like that. I, I need to, to know how to to sell my service or sell my knowledge or or sell my time. And uh, if we have an idea of how to do a business plan, I, I can do a better job. I can do a better job talking to my boss or talking to 
whatever to get a promotion or to get the, uh, an, an employee. I think that is important. Yeah, actually, you are so very right. Uh, yeah, as, as I was telling you, you don't have to to focus a lot into the the numbers, the figures, the the core, but in the English part, I mean, the way that you are going to present, because that is true. Maybe sometime you have to go to an interview in English for a better position. And I mean, sometimes they, they ask a lot of questions. I mean, uh, actually there is a practice that we did and we're going to repeat that practice, this model to, to make an interview because sometimes that happens. And they ask you, for example, if you are applying for manager of a sales department, how do you sell this product? How do you motivate people? Uh, and then you have to sell yourself. Sometimes you need to go and create a project. Sometimes, I mean, I don't know if you ever had, have, have you ever in, been in a position or uh, to an interview where you need to present a project? Uh, I mean, you need to go and look for something to create and present numbers, figures, why this is going to go. And it's going to be very similar to the business plan. I mean, the prey is this and this other thing, and that's it. Uh, if by any chance you don't find anything that you like that is maybe too complex or too complicated, too long, you can always create your own, but in a basic way. I mean, I remember that we uh, previously we made an activity where you presented a product or an idea for an entrepreneur. So you can take that idea and, and build uh, the business plan at around that one five slides six slides or just uh, some ideas and you will be able to add. but since this is a business plan you need to uh, go in the most important parts and of course a graphic or uh, some financial statements that that maybe is the most most difficult part so if she if you do it yourself invent something and present a graphic i mean sometimes it's kind of kind of not that good idea right uh, so that's what I was telling. Just look for something that is already built. If it's too long, delete things that are not necessary. Remember that this is just a practice. You are going to be here in front just practicing. Uh, if uh, I mean, last week we checked or we were reflecting or acting as a presenter. This time you are going to be like a manager that is looking for money. So it's going to be like changing schemes, right? Something like that. Do you guys have any other questions regarding the project for this week? No more questions. Okay, if you have questions do, throughout the week, you can ask me. You, if you have questions also um, not in the class, you can chat uh, in the group or you can chat with me directly. And of course, it will be a pleasure. All right. We are going to have free practice today. Let's see how it goes. Uh, how did you practice on vacations? I know that you practice every day. Or no. All right. So uh, sometimes uh, I ask uh, somebody to have a conversation and we move on. We're going to change a little bit that one. So um, now I'm going to be an spectator and you are going to do a conversation with one peer. So two of you are going to have a conversation here in front of the class about whatever you want. Think about what you are going to ask. And then you the have chair. a conversation. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, what if uh, we think in like like a, like a class? Uh, what if we think in a, in a product or service? Like if we are a, a company, or like we are uh, in a, we see something like maybe a brainstorming what is, what is the best product we can do, we can create or we can use in, in a water, maybe not now, I don't know, but uh, something like that, that because uh, when uh, we are reading the, the the concept of where we're reading the theory, maybe not of us, not all of us can uh, take that uh, information and, and do something that uh, in, in the in the real world or something in the in the day to day. 
and uh, we can see like like that and uh, we seeing uh, okay we were a comp we are we will be a company that uh, were uh, thinking in sell a color like uh, anil or indigo or something like that and uh, in uh, europe there are a market for for that uh, uh, colorant and something like that but uh, uh, try to to get all of that information and uh, do something in a practical way. I don't know if you understand me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I get it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we can do that one. At the end, I believe that uh, any idea is valid uh, because this is not, not real, right? So you can, uh, for example, you know, um, like two, three years ago, I was planning to create with a, a friend of mine uh, we were trying to create a flying car. Not a flying car, but uh, have you seen those drones? Uh, a drone where a person or two people can move it. Actually, they exist already. There are people that they have created that one and things that one. And we we created a business plan and we were going to present actually to the government. They were going to provide the money, but we didn't find people that were able to create like the... How can I say the skeleton of the because I mean it, it's not only metal or aluminium, it has to have certain things. For example, if a lining hits that one, like in the cars, uh, it needs to go through the other way, right? And things that one. So that part was not that easy, and at the end we didn't do it. Uh, but I, I mean my point is that any idea is good. You can come and say any kind of idea. But uh, what I believe is something good is that you can discuss about how you are going to build the, the project, right? Uh, am I going to start here or this? Do you have a question on this or this other? That's why sometimes, I mean, right now I'm taking my time for uh, asking you if you have questions. Because if you have questions, sometimes we can spend some time thinking. I mean, it's, it's okay if I do this. It's okay if I don't do it this way. Um, I know that this is a little bit complex. Maybe it's the most complex project that we're going to do because, I mean, a business plan is, is a huge thing. It's something that some people or some companies spend two or three months creating. Um, I know it's, it's, not, it's not an easy thing. It's not an easy thing. I know it's a very difficult. Even if you had the time and everything goes well, I mean, it's a very complex thing because also, I mean, in a in a company, uh, there are different departments or different people that are going to uh, get, tell you. I mean, in human resources, let's do this. Oh, in financing, let's do this. In strategy, in marketing, only one person. I mean, to create that one is, is is kind of crazy, right? But that's what I was telling you. I mean, the most important hit is the English part. It's not that I'm. I mean, I don't have a million dollars to to give to you. I wish I had, but I don't, right? Um, uh, but of course, if you want to discuss about that one, what you're going to do, what you're going to create, things that one, yeah, we can discuss on that one. Uh, I know, I know this is a very difficult task, uh, and I will understand if you just present a few things. I mean, it's not important that part. Uh, at the end, the important part is the practice. The practice uh, speaking or, I mean, imagine that you are presenting the idea that I was telling you, a flying car. I need to present certain technical information and some uh, numbers and things that one. So, yeah, it's a good chance for you to present vocabulary, uh, things that one. So my best advice for you is to not to complicate yourself. Keep it simple. Okay. Download something. Look for there are plans or there are graphics at least. I mean, figures, numbers, and then you can just write a paragraph about the summary, invent something about the history of the company, uh, and then invent something that you want to achieve in the future. And if you find some graphics, some numbers, that is it. So uh, I'm telling you that one, and that will be around five, six slides. Okay? Not that complicated, because here we just practice in English. But it's a good chance. It's a good chance to to represent ourselves a businessman, right? It, it, that is, I mean, have you ever seen? Have you ever seen, for example, the the news on, on CNN when they are speaking about financial? I mean, that is crazy. I mean, 
they are speaking with concept that sometimes you you know but sometimes you are not familiar to that's why some people they don't like that kind of things right because you say oh i don't understand this thing i'm going to change to to other channel right but it's interesting i mean if you get into that one and you understand some cancer it's like oh my goodness i didn't know that one oh the market is going to collapse next week i don't know many things can happen if we understand that one so this is a good chance to be in that part to be in that role to just present uh, something imaginary and 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 be like that one right and not that complicated keep it simple that is actually a good idea think about a company or graphics uh, for a projection of a company that you would like to present and then starting from there you can just present two other three slides and that's it that would be okay do you have any other question or do you want to to ask something related with this project Everything is fine and clear. Do you? I, I want. I have. I want to ask you something. Then, do you have an idea on what you're gonna do? I mean, have you ever researched? Have you downloaded something already? The good thing that we had is that we we had another week, an extra week, right? In a normal situation, I mean, just two weeks and do the prior, right? So you had three weeks. But I know that you're busy, the family, and many other things. So I understand that one. That's what I want to ask you. I mean, do you have something already? Or are you lost and you don't know what to do? Research about uh, the information that, that I need. I, I was uh, investigating about the executive summary, about uh, something. And uh, it's interesting and it's, uh, uh, it's helpful, helpful in many areas. And uh, uh, we, need, we need to do it. Uh, I think uh, uh, until, oh, how I say that, uh, I write uh, executive summary, but at the beginning, and uh, this day, I, I, I learned, no, that is the last thing, no, no, the first thing. And I have some ideas, but uh, I was right to the, the, the executive summary, but uh, now I think I, I need to do a review because I, I am ready to do it, but uh, it's not the time, or, the, or maybe it, it don't match with all the rest of the information. But I was uh, studying, learning something because uh, whatever thing we do, we need to know about that. That is true. I mean, it doesn't matter if you do it yourself or if you download it. I mean, whenever you are checking on that one, you need to have at least an idea on what you're going to present because, I mean, yeah, that happens. I mean, if I, I, I tell you speaking German, you won't be able. You need to understand it and do something right, at least a basic thing. So that is important. If you have an idea on what you're going to do, that is fine. As I was telling you, the most basic might be that one. Look for some figures, some uh, charts, some graphics, and the rest it can be something that is not true and present. That would be. Okay. Good. Hey, that poor cat wanted to learn English, Roxanne. <laughs> you were no, this is my class. <laughs> okay. You have a new student here. Oh, I really love cats. Hello. What's what's his name or her name? Yes, I guess it's Marta. Okay. Because she has a lot of Okay, spots. Spots, <laughs> yeah. All right, very good. Cats. You have only one cat. How many I have do you have? Three. <laughs> three. That's good. <laughs> I have the la señora de los gatos, Miss, 
Uh, <laughs> Maybe, I guess. The mistress of the cat. No, but cats are amazing. I really love them. You know, they are very independent and they are they are nice. They, do they go in the morning to your bed and ask you for food? <laughs> like, yeah, they they are like another alarm. In my... <laughs> yeah. Very interesting. Very good. <laughs> okay, very nice. Okay, so we are going to practice then. Uh, for practice, you can speak about whatever. If you want to practice about the project, you can do it. Um, so let's see how it goes. Uh, who wants to be the first volunteer? It's going to be free speech. Whatever you want, as long as it's respectful. Me, teacher. David, very good. Now, David, who you want to talk with? Uh, it's a difficult decision. Everybody Maybe wants. Liliana? Okay, Giselle. Hello. Okay, so you are going to speak about whatever you want. So let's say around five minutes. Five minutes is good, right? Five minutes. <laughs> oh, that's too much or too little? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I want to talk about. Okay, David, what is your favorite um, snack? My favorite snack. 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 It uh, doesn't matter if it's, if it's a, a healthy snack or it's not healthy. <laughs> well, uh, at my age, uh, we need more thinking, more uh, something healthy, but uh, uh, I, I like to eat. I like to eat. I eat many times in a day. Uh, there is some uh, problem. I like to eat uh, some fruit. I like to eat some cookies. Uh, uh, but uh, my favorite snack, I, I like to eat everything. Uh, mm -hmm. I am in, in Spanish, I am todo terreno. <laughs> 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 I, I, I like to eat uh, the, everything, uh, ice cream, uh, uh, fruit, uh, there's a snake, a salad snake, a, a salty snake, I don't know, so, uh, cookies. Uh, uh, I like uh, to, eat, to drink uh, a lot of coffee. And I like to drink tea also. Uh, I like also sodas, but uh, I try not to drink, but uh, I like it. <laughs> and uh, I, I like to drink water too. I, I drink too much water. And uh, I, I, I don't know. If I don't know what, what was my favorite, I, I need <laughs> to rank. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of that. I, I need to think what is what is my favorite uh, snack, but it, whatever you think, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you? Well, in my case, um, my healthy. Maybe my favorite healthy snack will be fruit too. Uh, I love to I love the the apples. I really like the apples, and that's in the healthy part. And in 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 the other part, I like the chips fuego. Actually, I'm I I have what's, a. What's that? I'm going to open my camera. Let's see, let's see. this one. I love them. Very <laughs> nice. I really love them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is this is my, my 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 first time that I I, I <laughs> that. You, fuego. You, it's fuego, yeah. It's almost ten o'clock and I have a chips fuego right now here. <laughs> it is hot. Uh, it's very hot, yeah. 
Okay. You try uh, maybe the takis. Takis. Ah, okay, okay. Takis. Similar, yes. to, very similar to takis, but I prefer chips, not takis. Where, where are the difference? Mm, I don't know. Uh, for me, the takis are hotter than the chips. Oh. And I love the chips fuego because I don't know. I think that the the taste of the lemon is stronger than the than the the takis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but all of the flavor of that flavors are are chemicals, nor natural yeah, flavors. Yeah, not natural, or... definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Everything there, is there is, is... There is difficult. This I, 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 I work with life. teenagers, and uh, you are almost a teenager. Yeah, you. <laughs> but that that kind, uh, that guy is loves so that, that scenes. I don't know takis. They are eating takis. I, I went to the uh, with my last year students. Uh, the week before vacation, we went to the Universidad Don Bosco. Don Bosco University, and there was a, a, a machine only for takis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what is that? Uh, only for, for takis. Uh, no cookies, no beverage, not takis. Uh, many kinds of takis from green to red. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that uh, that kind of scenes is were possible, but there is an idea for business, a, a, a spending machine only from Takis, and we need a, a spending machine only for, for chips. What is the name of it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but, but yeah, that, that's so I, I think that chips are very delicious, but it's not like, it's 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 one of my favorite. Maybe I don't know if it's a snack, but if like when you want something so bad, so that happens to me tonight, right now. I I I I just think that I want a chip spoil. I don't care if it's too late. I I just want a, a chip spoil. <laughs> Oh, I feel you. Know? Yeah. I am exactly yes. like that. Uh, I, I know that there are some people that they say, uh, I want some cake or chocolate, things, but I'm like that with those things, with those chips. Oh, my goodness. It's like, for yeah. example, right now that you show the picture, it's like, oh, my goodness, I want some of those. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. very, I, you I understand mean, me. It's mm -hmm. very hot, but the taste is very good. It's so spicy. There are many flavors. I mean, it's, it's very nice. Yeah, it's very balanced, I think. The, the taste of the lemon and the salt, the the everything. <laughs> everything for me yeah, is like very, the perfect chip. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. That is, oh my goodness. Is uh, We say that that is a pet peeve. I don't remember the name of that one, but there was like something like that one. Like, like a pet peeve. A pet peeve is something that you really, really like a lot and something like that. So uh, you can baby yourself or something, pamper yourself in that way. So Yes. Um, that, that's all, teacher. Don't try this at home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you really like hot things, spicy things, <laughs> that is amazing. I mean, a friend of mine, he told me that, uh, and actually I'm going to try that one. I, I don't like Maruchan that much, but he says that he puts that into Maruchan. Oh my goodness. And that sounds like a very good idea. Uh, shrimps, Maruchan with lemon, that one, and Heineken. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I, I don't know. Is there a burger? A burger? I don't know. That uh, put uh, that, that kind of chips or something. In, in the between in the meat and the bread. Yeah, it I might be. Know. It might be. For example, I know that some people they put that kind of things into uh, frozen and things like that one. So mm -hmm. that sounds like a very Actually, good. Idea. I saw a video uh, on TikTok that a guy here in El Salvador he just buy the 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 chips and crush the chips and he sell like the. Dust, I don't know, dust of chip. I don't know how really? to say that like that. 
de polvo, chip polvo, fuego, algo así. And, and yeah, for him it's a kind of business. You can oh put that in, in, in your michelada or in mm -hmm. your mango preparado or something yeah. like that. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, very good. <laughs> That's the word, teacher. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is no other word for that one. It's, I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> okay, that's so. Perfect. Thank you. David, you said that you have you eat a lot of things. Have you ever tried verdolaga? Yes, yes. I I we were talking about that in the in a meeting, a, a family meeting uh, it, it, yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about all of that things. Pacaya. Uh, uh, Muta, Verdolaga, all of the, the, the strange things for the new generations. But in my time, it was so common. We eat of all of the things, but now it's something like, what? What is that? <laughs> but yes, I, I like all of the things. Oh, because we is went to the field, we went, uh, we uh, harvest that things, and they cook. Uh, it's important. There are something that uh, uh, in I don't know in, in the field you you find uh, the the name of that thing is cochinitos. It, it's something that the, the, the people make pupusas of that. Mm. Yeah, that, that are good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the life is one of my favorite. I'm very I'm very fan of uh, a lot of fan of. Uh, moras and things like that one and that yes, one yes. with lemon and, and hot sauce oh my goodness that is a very good thing I'm hungry already and I already ate <laughs> 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 but yeah I mean that is a, it's a very good thing but thank you both of you okay teacher my pleasure teacher nice you see you learn a lot of things here in this kind of conversation so sometimes that's why I like to put aside myself and then uh, listen to you so who wants to be the next? That's the question. Yeah. I know that you want. Jump. Let's go for it. Uh -huh, anybody? Anybody? No. Fernando wants. Fernando and Roxana, very good. <laughs> I know it, I know it. <laughs> okay, let's listen to them. I don't know what they're talking about, but of course it's going to be very good. Let's listen to them. Roxana wants to tell us about uh, her last trip to oh, the good. Patagonia. So, go ahead, Roxana. I know you want it. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, the, I guess two weeks, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. I guess, when we, when we was in, when we was free. Uh-huh. When we were uh, free. Uh-huh. And I was in traveling to Argentina. And I traveled to Calafate. Argentina. And I moved to Calafate. And I visit uh, the Patagonia, and I get I get I I get some trips around the um, Perito Moreno, uh, Lago Argentino, and others. And I went with two friends and my son, and it was very interesting because. Uh, the first one, um, I guess that the CRM, CRM or change or how, how to say that? Uh, what do you want to say? You say? Um, I know that it's CRM, CRM. It's como el tipo de cambio. Ah, okay. Yeah, the, like the change. Okay, thank you. Uh, the first, um, point in that uh, trip it was the uh, exchange because 
Argentina is very cheaper than the others because uh, right now they have a lot of trouble with with their uh, money. And if you have um, dollars, in, they can change your uh, dollars for, um, I don't know, I don't remember that the best exchange was around 370, no, 300, yeah, 370 uh, pesos, I guess. Yeah. And it was uh, very cheaper. It was cheaper than the bank because uh, if you uh, change in a bank or in a um, cash machine, you receive around the half, 150 or something like that. So uh, the first uh, point for, uh, in that uh, trip was the money because it, it was a very um, interesting exchange for us. And the rest, uh, well, it was very complex. Um, llegar, how do you say llegar? Arrive. Arrive. Thank you. It was uh, very complex to arrive there because uh, I was, oh, if I, I need to uh, talk about my previous job. Uh, I was uh, working in Avianca and after, uh, after to uh, go out of that company, I get some uh, tickets of benefits. And the thing is that when you use that ticket, you don't have a, a seat. A sec or, or yeah, secure or safe. A secure seat. seat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. maybe if the airplane have a space, you can fly. If the space is, it's not enough, you can't. So, it was complex because um, the company in that moment have uh, had a little uh, trouble with. Uh, the passengers because they need to um, accommodate some passengers from other um, aerolina, aer airline airline thank you and it was complex to arrive um, to Argentina and to come back to El Salvador but uh, in general, uh, the trip, it, it was very um, interesting because uh, in my previous trips, I was visiting um, some um, maybe countries with um, another type of, of um, monuments or buildings or something like that is very um, interesting when you visit a country that have a lot of um, na naturaleza, it's nature. Nature, huh? Yeah, because you understand that you are a little thing in, the, in that in this world, you can see uh, big things. I took um, a ferry in um, the Lago Argentino, and we uh, we was see a lot of um, icebergs. Huh? We visit around three, and when we was in the in the lake, we was uh, see a lot of a uh, uh, little little part of the iceberg in all the lake, and it was very um, I don't know, maybe interesting because I don't know uh, the snow, but uh, in that case, I I. 
I did a trip in Perito Moreno. I get um, trampones, I guess. The, the, they are some uh, special shoes for your shoes to walk around the Perito Moreno. And it was very interesting because, uh, you know, here in El Salvador, we don't have anything similar to that. And you see the, the um, um, La Cordillera de los Andes. Yeah, the and, Andes. Yeah, oh. the Andes. And it was interesting because we was uh, receiving a, a little uh, presentation about that. And you can uh, escalar, you can try to... Uh, for hike hike yeah hike and it was very impressive because uh, you know here in El Salvador we have a lot of things to do but that experience was very different at rest for me maybe it's the best trip uh, in my life because uh, the first one is very cheaper than other and it was a good experience in general because you can you can see a lot of different things and maybe you can uh, you want to to, to or, or you desire uh, spend more time in that type of trip but you don't have enough time to to, to stay there but in my case uh, how how I was saying I didn't I don't know the, the snow but uh, I walk around the Perito Moreno and they are uh, they was uh, explained that the Perito Moreno is um, no but um, it's como nieve comprimida it's not a, a ice when you uh, see a, a lake in the Frozen. Yeah, in a frozen mall. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. no, no, it's totally different because uh, in that uh, place they receive a lot of snow. So the the the, the glacier is snow, 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 snow. It is a lot of snow. And I don't know, maybe the next trip for me if go once, maybe it was Antarctica. I want to go there, and I was looking for another uh, a lot of information about that, and I know that it's very difficult uh, try to 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 arrive to that uh, places because the 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 weather is not well all the time, but in general that experience was very interesting for me. Okay. Very good, people very interesting. I'm sorry? People with money. No, I don't have <laughs> yeah, I, I Actually, I, I remember that you have traveled from some, to some places. I, I was going to ask you, how how do you do that? I mean, uh, I travel sometimes, but I have to save money for two years or something like that. But how do you do it? I mean, how do you travel? Uh, I mean, do you have a secret that you want to share? Uh, I don't know. So to be honest with you, my secret or maybe is looking for a, a cheaper things than the others. Uh, for example, in that trip, uh, we was four, my two friends and, and my son, and we visited the market and I was preparing the, the breakfast all days and we can save the money in that way. And the other hand, maybe uh, you can find um, uh, Airbnb, maybe, or another uh, hotel with uh, maybe with uh, your enough things to survive in, and you can save money too. 
and the other maybe uh, in well in our case we um, we buy uh, inter uh, fly internal internal fly and we in that case uh, we didn't have a, a ticket with benefit for Avianca, right? So we can we need to find a, a offer and uh, just uh, fly with a uh, carry on, not with no not with the um, luggage. Mallet. Uh huh. Luggage. Yeah, and that's another thing to save money. You know things like that. Interesting. Interesting. Just, yeah. Just just think in, in in food, but maybe you can uh, find in, I don't know, maybe you can find another uh, cheaper solution. Because if you are uh, visiting another country, maybe you you can spend uh, money in restaurant or something like that. But sometimes it's good if you can uh, buy some food in street or something like that. It's another way to save money. You should make videos about that with that tips. Yeah, YouTuber, right? I, I will see that one. Yeah, I will say, oh, thank you, Roxanne. I will try that. <laughs> yeah, I need that tips. <laughs> or other thank tips you. I heard about it is uh, you can get some familiar uh, that working in in Avianca or, or some airlines because they had a very good discount. Uh, right I, now, I, I think that is a little complex because if you are uh, see the if you are if you are watching the, the news the um, the rest of the airline try to uh, change to or change the, the model because they are low cost right now and if they are low cost maybe they try to to, to to sell the ticket with uh, accessible prices, and if you're working in that company, maybe it's not possible to get a secure seat for the flight. That's why I have I have problem in that trip because when uh, we try to come back to Salvador, we start to come back Friday at midnight and i just arrived here at sunday at midnight so mm -hmm. i spent around three days to come back to salvador from argentina but uh, the thing is the thing is uh, uh avianca is changed the model right now and she and they are uh low cost i guess mm -hmm. And the people can spend money in that ticket. So okay. you can. Yeah, very good, very good, very good trip. So yeah, of course I'm going to take in consideration so uh, and travel. Uh, that would be very good. Travel a lot. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we're going to check the attendance because it's time to go to bed, my friends. So let's see, Yana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Yes, a teacher. Good. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Good. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Present. Martínez. Ah, good. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Iriana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Luis Albert T. Bonilla Canales. Present teacher. Good. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. 
Present. Good. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Morina Duarte. Present teacher. Very good. The one one of today is for uh, Jose Marcos. So, my friends, have a very good night. See you tomorrow and rest very well. Dream in English. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello, Marcus. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Long time I'm fine. See. Very good. How was the vacation? Oh, um, relaxing. Yeah, relaxing vacation. Um, I tried to do some some tending tasks on my uh, my home, like clean up or. Um, arrange some theme. So the first day I tried to to do that. So I spend the day, um, doing some chores. So the the next day I try to to relax to visit family and visit some places. And the the next day. I just try to, to relax to rest okay. from the, from the, oh, very good. all the lot that we have in, in the in the, the all the work lot <laughs> that we have right now. So you no know, this four days is for recharging the, the energy. Yeah, that is very good. Very it was a very good plan. Uh, how do you yeah. feel that you're moving on? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting something? Yeah, yeah. I am um, understanding. I'm trying to understand all the things that you want to transmit us. Um, yeah, I still... I, I have improved some fluency or vocabulary. Uh, and I like the the this own word that is a sign of that to always every Friday is to to pick up some uh, choose rewards and explain because that way we can uh, learn new new words that maybe we uh, it will be hard to find. Some words, so yeah, it's in a good practice. And I like to read also, I like to read the because, yeah, and the, and the question, what do you understand from that? <laughs> it's, it's important because it's like try to organize all the things quickly and try to, to keep a, a answer faster so it's a good exercise i think i am learning from that very good like very good. i'm very happy that you're learning on that one and that you're getting uh, some vocabulary and many other things so uh, do you have any question about any topic or anything on the platform or anything on the platform i um in what week are we right now uh we are on around. yeah well in the platform actually we are in the, the unit or the module number two so uh, okay. in that one you will see that there are 10 videos and five homeworks so today we are in the 11 and we need to move on to the homework 2.8 that's the one mm -hmm. okay so okay. by the next friday we have to finish all the second unit the second will be this friday next one is going to be the unit three and then the unit four okay. Ah, okay 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 perfect so uh, yeah i have to, to complete the, the homework uh, yeah. and with the homework for for this friday we don't necessarily make a, a business plan 
just we have just to we can only just explain yeah one from internet yeah i mean i mean if you if you do it yourself it's going to be too much so yeah uh, the important okay. here is the english part so you can download uh, not an entire if you want just a few slides and then present that one five six slides that's good good enough the objective is to like convince people imagine i am picture myself in a scenario like i am trying to convince like some investors so i have to do the best possible presentation so they can invest in or in, in our entrepreneurship okay. right yeah, that something would be like the that. idea. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, I try to 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 do the best. Uh, definitely, I I I know, I know that you you will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Marcus, teacher. was a pleasure to be with you. I hope you have a very good night. And if, remember that if you have questions, you can chat with me, and it will be a pleasure to help you. Okay, thanks, teacher. Thanks a lot. Okay, have a, have good, a good night. Good night and rest very well. Sorry. See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.